We are now tracking a pinpoint weather alert on this Tuesday afternoon. As we reported, we're expecting a heat wave, and some of those temps can cause concern for students with just a few days left of school. Our Hannah Cotter caught up with several parents and school districts about protecting kids from this heat. She's live in Smithfield, and Hannah, is it cooling off there at all? Well, it's been in the 90s here pretty much all day, but we have had a nice little breeze going these last couple of minutes, so I'm hoping that keeps up. Smithfield had its last day of school yesterday, so we've seen a lot of families taking advantage of this little splash pad here by the park. But with other schools still in session, experts say it's important to be on the lookout for heat-related emergencies. <laughs> These kiddos are kicking off their summer vacation in Smithfield with sun safety top of mind. Keep your sunscreen on. You have to keep your sunscreen on because you will get burned by the sun. The Deerfield splash pad is a welcome new addition to the park, especially with high temps in the forecast for the rest of the week. Uh, yesterday we, we spent the rest of the day in the sprinkler, so today it's nice to be able to be here and see people that they know to play with. With other schools still in session during this potential heat wave, experts say it's important to limit sun exposure at recess and keep kids hydrated with frequent breaks. Especially younger children um, can be more susceptible to, to heat-related emergencies. Jason Rhodes with the State Department of Health says heat stroke can be a big concern with this hot weather. Look for signs of disorientation. Uh, confusion, um, but again, the skin will be extremely hot and they may have actually stopped sweating. So um, at that point in time, it's absolutely important to cool, rapidly cool as soon as possible. And coming up at six, how some schools are trying to beat the heat with a few days left of classes. We're live in Smithfield, Hannah Cotter, 12 News. It's certainly been hot out at the playground for kids who are still in school. 12 News reporter Hannah Cotter caught up with some parents in local districts about what they're doing to keep students cool. Hannah. Well, Mike Shannon, the phrase too cool for school certainly does not apply this week, but districts that still have children in class say they are taking steps to make sure students are comfortable during this potential heat wave. Very cool inside, plus they have water, ice pops, everything in there. Claudia Vasquez has a second grader at Anthony Carnavali Elementary School in Providence. She was told they moved recess to the morning instead of the afternoon to keep kids out of the sun. Just very happy. They are doing everything they can to keep them cool inside. With the potential heat wave on the way and a few days left of classes, the district is encouraging families to make sure students are dressed in lightweight, light colored, and loose fitting clothing and stocked up with extra water bottles. Especially younger children um, can be more susceptible to, to heat related emergencies. Jason Rhodes with the State Department of Health says it's crucial to make sure kids stay hydrated and watch for any signs of heat stroke like disorientation, confusion, and a lack of sweat. And if your child is playing outside, try to limit sun exposure and watch out for hot playground equipment. Take a temperature check, you know, before you climb on to a slide, you know, a metal slide, which can tend to heat up very quickly. Um, just, just, just touch it real quick to see if it's, uh, if it's safe. And uh, if it's not, find something else to do. <laughs> We reached out to a few other school districts that still have a couple days left of class. None that got back to us said they planned on any early releases to accommodate the heat, but some said they're utilizing air conditioning and cooler spaces in their buildings. We're live in Smithfield, Hannah Cotter, 12 News.